Hey everybody, thank you for checking out this review. Um, I've been a little bit excited to see this movie. Um, it is a January release for a horror film, and that does have a bad rep, but I was, you know, somewhat impressed with how the promotion as well as the advertising was going for this movie. And I've kind of been waiting for a good Gretel and Hansel horror movie, so I took on the offer to go ahead and see this day one, so let's get into this review. Gretel and Hansel is a big bag of hit or miss. First off, the film's introduction is sadly one of the bigger flaws, and whether it be the directing, editing, editing or acting, the film really is unpredictable with how it is going to play out, which could be both good and bad. So, for example, the passion really seems to focus on the editing and special effects more than other aspects of the film, to the point where it's at times distracting and even obvious. And again, there are plenty of props from the film displaying plenty of successful unsettling imagery as well as atmosphere and buildup, and even to the acting, particularly Alice Cridge, who plays the witch, as well as Sophia Lillis, you'll know her from It Chapter, chapter 2 and 1. Um, she, was, she was actually very great in the film as well. Um, I will also note that the first reviews for the movie were reasonably impressive as well. And again, this film had surprisingly plenty going for it, and even the spin at the tail that the filmmakers were getting at could be a bonus point as well. The film has a refreshing amount to give the audience, though the directing as well as some of the narrative aspects really seem to kind of get less attention, which is a bit of a bummer. But overall, Gretel and Hansel was ultimately better than I was expecting it to be, to be completely honest, and I'd go as far as to say that it's even one of the better adaptations of the tale. This isn't a bad movie, but it does have some things to work on. Overall, I'm going to give Gretel and Hansel a 4. This is definitely one of the better January horror releases, and just January releases in general. Uh, this is definitely a mixed review from me, but this film again did a lot of things right. and. Again, I've, I've been, I, I'm a really big fan of the classic tale of Hansel and Gretel, and even to the point where someday, if I actually get the budget to make a big horror movie, because I'm a huge horror buff and I want to make horror films someday, I would love to actually do my own spin on this, on this tale, but th again, this is one of the better ones that I have seen. It didn't get everything right, and this isn't a particularly, quote, good movie, but there are some things that are definitely worth checking out so if you find this movie on a maybe discount day or even rent it when it comes out on dvd you know you might actually be in for a treat so i hope you guys like this uh review um i was actually lucky to get this review out on day on the night of the movie's release so uh super happy about that um i have another video coming later tonight where i will be doing my first ranked video and it will be the jane silent bob uh, movies, the Eskuniverse from Kevin Smith, ranking them worst to best with reviews as well. So keep an eye out for that. And, you know, if you guys like the movie, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know some things that you liked about it as well as other movies that you'd like me to review. Thank you for checking out this video, and I have more to come. Take care, guys.